Welcome back. Happy Friday. Heat waves big time here. So I'm trying to shoot this nine o'clock in the morning. It's just about 80 degrees. It's supposed to just get out of control. Past few days, even though I'm running the air conditioner in the shop, I just can't do anything. So for this video, I thought I've got a lot of different things that I shot in the past that have just been sitting in the background. This is more of a review of some items, some comments on some items. So hopefully something here will be good for somebody. I don't know. Um, so well, uh, here's a whole bunch of little pieces and I'll see you next Friday. Hopefully it'll be cooler and I'll be doing something here. I've got a few things in mind, uh, projects that I want to do. So see you next Friday. Here, uh, it's 8.30, it's just starting to warm up. It's supposed to go up to like 100 or better. Um, all right, Drill Pro, I showed this guy in, and I'm off to the side because I'm letting outside light come in. If I turn on the overhead, I know it gets glary. Um, I showed this in the video making that round insert holder and really impressed with it. It's a four flute carbide. I've got two of them now just in case because this is it, $10. That's ridiculous for what this thing is. So um, I was thinking what um, I know I said a long time ago the Travers these are three flutes. And there's just, I haven't found anything that even compares to what this does on aluminum. And here's some of the finish. This, the face mill here. This is the finish with the face mill. And I was thinking, well, maybe that's the fly cutter, but no, the arc. I put the face mill on there and the arc matches. The fly cutter's a bigger arc. But you can see the, kind of the finish here of what the, the Travers end mill does and the what I'm about to show or share too it does a pretty good job on aluminum um, so there's that finish that finish and then there's the I'll put this guy back in there but I was thinking let me try these two flute guys it says N plus on it I don't know why this is supposed to be drill pro Banggood, it says, you know, Drill Pro in the description. Tungsten carbide, uh, micro grain. I'm starting to figure out everything that's micro grain. You can actually see the cutting edge is like a razor, it's sharp. You go look at the Grizzlies and you can see grinding marks in it. So you're not going to get a really nice finish. This is also the same thing, just a gorgeous edge to it, really sharp, straight on the bottom. So what, whatever they do, honing them maybe, I don't know. But I had picked this up just to see what it would do. I got a few of them too. Wish they went bigger. This is the eight millimeter, six, and then five millimeters. And they all, they're all just, ah, can't get it up. Oh, they got the sticker all over it. That's, ah, gonna have to cut it open. All right. But they're all just beautiful looking. Um, I'll show, using it but the light is terrible so I figured I'll come over and just show it here um, first thing I did was try it on aluminum and I hopefully you guys uh, get rid of that can kind of see I mean it feels like glass it's just beautiful I did a face cut and there's some kind of little funky line in here but all in all I mean these guys on aluminum did a really nice job and this is what six dollars and these are like two or three dollars a piece it's ridiculous but I really wanted to try it on steel and again this guy performed just like this guy you'll see there's a lot more smoke for some reason doing it but just an incredible finish so I've ordered between this and this, I've ordered everything. So just a hack, because it's so ridiculously cheap. But in any case, um, I'll show the video next of it actually doing this kind of cutting. And I hope, hope in this video, the 
finish shows up. All right, I'm not sure if the camera can see the finish, but I'll wind up taking it out. I have the power feed engaged there, so let's see where it's going to happen. And stop it there. Bring it down and turn this to engage it. Figure I'll just try it on aluminum first, see what happens. Turn that off and maybe angle the light around differently. Okay, so let's give it some speed here. See what it's gonna do. Oof. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> I don't know how much of a cut that is, but wow. Uh, let me go deeper. Why is there a line in there? Probably because it didn't cut enough. Alright, take it down like five, three thousandths or something here. There. Looks like a pretty good finish. I think. Reverse it. And then I'll take it out and see. Hopefully I've got a piece of steel someplace that I can try. Alright, shut it down. And what does it look like? That's pretty nice. Uh, it's not as good as the Travers, but that's a really nice finish, I'll tell you that. I wonder what happens if I try doing some facing with it. Let's try that. Bring it in. And I guess I gotta bring it down a whole bunch here. <laughs> See if there's gonna be chatter or anything. Oops, light moved. All right, and some speed. Can't see when it's gonna hit. Should be any second. There it is. All right, get that out of there. And we go down a bunch more. And take it back and see what it does. Whoa, that looks pretty darn nice. Alright, I want to just take it out because I don't want to do uh, conventional milling on this surface. No, it's definitely not as good as the other one, but let's see what it does on steel. And loose, because I can see little kind of harmonic ridges in that, right? Yeah, and there's some kind of a line in it, too. I don't know if, ah, camera probably can't see it. Let me try getting rid of this light. See if you guys can see the finishing on the top. So, yeah, I think it's probably for steel. Do I have a chunk of steel any place here? <laughs> Uh, no, I gotta go down and pull something out of stock. How about yanking out a piece of a half inch and see what that does. So disengage this, bring it up, stick that in there. Oof, that's pretty close. <laughs> I think I need another set of parallels to go up higher. Do not want to hit the vise. Put those away, take these out. Yeesh, it falls over. All right, come on, get that in there, get that in there. And I wanna bring it back, down, over, up, down, over, across. <coughs> Oops, wrong way. All right. I wonder if I need cutting oil on this or not. Probably. So get it off. Bring the light in a bit so I can see it. If I angle it that way, maybe you guys can see it. Uh, where'd the oil go? Somebody stole the oil. There it is. 
<coughs> I'm suspecting this is going to do a killer job on 1018. <coughs> All right, so go to some place where it won't knock down and speed. We're ready to go, I guess. Wasn't deep enough, something's crooked. Piece of material, I'm sure. It looks really nice. Let me just take it in more and take it down. Five thousandths. Whoa, a lot of smoke. <laughs> yep, that's a nice looking finish. Uh, need a paper towel to clean this up with to see it. There, I got a paper towel. Unlock this. Yes, that looks nice. Uh, see if I can angle it. For you guys to see. That is a killer finish. Oh, it feels like glass. I can see minor, minor, minor lines in it. But that, this is superior. So this is another great um, cutter for steel. I wish I had some, I don't have any square stainless, just stainless rod is all. But wow, I'm thrilled with it. So I'm very glad I got it. Um, it probably doesn't show any signs of marks on it at all, right? I'm sure. Let me take it out of there. Where is the wrench? There it is. Wish I had better lighting for you guys, but nothing. There's not one mark on this thing. I didn't do much cutting, but I suspect it's smoother than I'll get out. So over time, be interesting to see, but for this kind of price tag, that's fantastic. Oh, well, I thought I'd just put the mic down here. It's not even sandpaper anymore. Regular sanding belts, if you try putting metal on there, uh, it just wears it out real fast. This went through a few things. It went through the uh, mini mill belt drive update, uh, upgrade those plates two plates and that took a lot off of it so I thought I'd try an experiment here this was Amazon uh, and it says metal grinding zirconia I don't know four by three this is 120 grit I wanted to get something coarser than that but I want to see it was like $15 for three of them I'm hoping this lasts a lot longer on metal so let me get it mounted up and then I can we can test it out. Alright, it's on there. Fits nicely. That is pretty coarse feeling. <laughs> so this is just that plate I showed in the video. It's kind of gotten scratched up. Oh yeah, I guess putting the motor on top of it, but let's see what this does. Huh? fast what's the particles that looks blue so I don't know I guess over time I'll report how it's lasting that other one too being black oh it's shifting here the other one being black was leaving black marks on wood pretty centered up. I don't know why it shifted all the other belts didn't have a problem. So nice mess on my bench here but so I'll let like I said I'll let people know how this thing kind of works out. Usually when I see people grinding metal it's a green belt so I don't know. Getting stuff here working on the mill. 
I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Bang good. Yep, it is. Whoa, that's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot wider. What happened? Oh, just a nut came loose inside. But, oh. That looks pretty good. Because the other one that came with uh, the Delta Grinder started um, wearing out. Most of the diamond stuff was gone from it. So I figured, you know, this is like 2 or $3.00. I can't believe it took that long to get it though. This is like six weeks. Looks pretty good. You know, it should do the job. So, if you guys want to get one of these things, go for it. And the other thing, I'm pretty sure I know what is, because I had an idea on um, to do something with a chuck, and that should be the chuck, right? Yep, it sure is. Nice. This too was just a few dollars. So ordered it. Let me open it. Uh, gotta cut it open. Boy, I've never seen such nice packaging, I guess, for just a little item, but wow. Yeah, that looks like that's pretty good. Uh, make an arbor for this guy. Yeah, not bad. Be interesting to see what the run out is on it. I have a feeling it shouldn't be too bad. Because uh, on the mill there's a lot of times where I need to hold a small drill bit, real small stuff, and it just does not fit in a collet. So I'm figuring, um, make an arbor, and I'll show when I'm done, make an arbor that um, fits on this. Ooh, one tooth is, oh, oh, springs. Probably just needs cleanup. Make an arbor, then I can uh, have a half inch, just shove that in there. And this should be able to hold all of the uh, different size drill bits, and being keyless is nice too. It looks like it's really good quality. So, it just looks like I need to clean it up a little, oil it, and check it out. But I don't know what size this is. It should it's Being from Banggood, this, that's got to be metric. Yeah, there's just a plate down in there that's pushing on all the, the pieces, so... All right, so I guess I'll show you guys this uh, and the run out and how it comes out. I'm not sure what to say about this stuff. I'm always looking on YouTube and different places for some way of you know, kind of anodizing or changing the color of aluminum and steel. Now I know I showed in a video a long time ago, steel, if you put it in an oven, you know, one of those little toaster ovens you can get it hot enough where it turns nice blue and over time it never rusted but and this Amazon ten dollars and change wish I wouldn't have bought it because I just remembered playing with it as I played with this bottle and testing it that I had already tried it on a neighbor my neighbor um, needed some gun work done, so I did it on the mill, and it left, um, it, you know, the shiny finish. It w yeah, it was aluminum that I was working on. Um, and this is pretty much so for uh, guns touch-up is what they advertise it as. And I'm not sure who's got an aluminum gun, but I'm sure it's out there. Um, in one video, I swear they got to be selling people out because... The guy had a pistol, and it is for touch-up. It says it on it, too. Yeah, touch-up, scratched, and marred areas quickly. So, yeah, he had a gun, and it had a scratch in it, and put it on there, and you couldn't really tell because the camera's not that close, but it looked okay. So, um, and I had already played with it. You know, my neighbor lent me the bottle to just mess with, and, yeah, it's a failure to me, my opinion. Um, but I bought it. It came, you know, nice packaging and stuff like that. So, aluminum black metal finish, keep out of reach of children, blah, blah, blah. But, um, I picked up something out of the junk drawer. It had one of my super shiny finishes on it. And dunk it in acetone, did everything. I'm wearing gloves to make absolutely sure there's no grease. You apply it with a Q-tip and it just kind of runs off and did do some spots. Now, I don't know why it did 
some spots and others just completely untouched. So I'm figuring oh, scratches it probably wants a matte finish so I put this back in the lathe scotch bright to get it all kind of evenly matte finish and this is what it is. Uh, how close can I get with it so everybody can kind of see I mean it's a blotchy dull finish it's not shiny I'm not sure if there's anything I could do does it still come off no so it's on there and I understand it should scratch off easily no I can't scratch it with my fingernail at least but it's a terrible looking finish and it comes off really easy if you hit it with scotch bright because yeah that's, I had originally did the shiny surface and then scotch bright it like, comes right off <laughs> So, to me, this, this is not something that I would use. I mean, if I was going to probably fix a scratch, uh, black magic marker, I don't know. <laughs> what does a marker do? Anyway, Sharpie, I'm curious. So, my advice, my opinion, this is not worth buying. Because <laughs> I've done this on furniture and stuff to... Uh, fix scratches. Oh, this does a better finish. It's more consistent. So, uh, you, if you want to fix your gun, here you go, maybe. <laughs> Just wipe it right off, huh? Yeah, that wiped it off too soon. Should have let it set. Let's try it again. But yeah, I've had some furniture that my daughter wanted from a thrift store. It's pretty thrashed up. And you just use this and boom, you know, it fixes it right up. Does this come off? Just wipe it. It's not on the cloth. Or the paper towel. Shinier finish. Can I really wipe it off? Yeah, a little bit comes off. But uh, $10 or a Sharpie. So, that's my opinion and review on... Birchwood KC Aluminum Black. I'm trying an experiment here with a teeny little tripod. I guess you can kind of see one leg of it. I can't get it out of the way, but um, all right, okay. Because I'm having a hard time showing finishes. This was that part um, where the cutter, the round cutter, did. And this is the one where you saw it in the video. That went pretty deep. <laughs> Can I stand it up? Yep. So, and this is the birch wood or whatever, aluminum black, which does a terrible job. <laughs> and here's the cutter. Let's see what that looks like, huh? <laughs> nice dirt. I don't know what this looks like until I download it and get a look at it on my computer. And what else did I have? Um, I don't know if I showed that. General finishes. This is done on the drill press with the Scotch Bright. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> Not bad. I hope my fingers look good. Oh, and this is the sander finish. Oh, there's a ref oh it's got a reflection seeing the camera in it. <laughs> okay, sanding finish. And this is generally. The finish I get on 1018 using the CNC um, x-axis drive on the lathe. Found a sweet spot for uh, speeds and feeds and then there's aluminum. Completely different speed and feed. So there was so much for this experiment. I hope it comes out good. Boy, I'll tell you, having this stand always set up makes it so nice to check things out but <laughs> this is a pair of Sterrett uh, V blocks they're supposed to be matched they both have the same serial number on them which is if I can angle it 364 0364 and this one also 0364 I'm wondering what side's supposed to be parallel because I'm sure not seeing it here Turn it on, zeroed out, and if I walk it back and forth, there's down three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, 
I go back zero again, almost zero, you know, there is zero. If I go to the other side of it, down seven tenths, eight, nine, there's a thousandth off. If I go back, I still have the zero, pretty much. There's the zero. So that's pretty crooked. And this is the match pair. If I put him on there, down two thousandths. That is crazy. Yeah, that's down two thousandths, almost three. So I've tried all the sides on this thing. There isn't anything here that's, as far as I'm concerned, a matched pair. LS Starrett. They don't look like they're worn or damaged at all. At the surfaces, you still see the nice grinding on both of them here. Because that's, that's the original grind. Where's the other side? There it is. That's, yeah, that's the original grind. There's a little bit of discoloration there. And, oh, yeah. Ooh, there's a dent in this. I don't know if that's high or not. I have to run that on some sandpaper. Yeah, there's some dents in here, too. So that could be affecting it a couple of thousands. It feels like a dent and not something poking out. But So, cool stand, I'll tell you that. Just screwing around here trying to see to get rid of reflections. You put something black so the camera reflects into that. This guy is pretty cool though. I mean, because you, when you turn it on, zeroes out, doesn't matter the height. So you've got a good reference. I'm down a tenth on that side. Coming back over from side to side, zero. So go to the front. This is pretty flat. The back is what's off over here. I'm up two tenths just over here. Yeah, I go three tenths. So I just go oh, four tenths. Just got a little bit of a high spot back in here to get rid of. It's nice that it's, this thing's repeatable. You go right back here and it's back on zero. You yeah, know, sooner than I say that it moves. <laughs> but, like, wow. So, four tenths was somewhere over here. And I'm going to get it now. Three. Interesting. Oh, on this stand, I did take this apart. The bottom was really rough. So I had to put it in the three jaw on the lathe. And um, just lightly touched it with some sandpaper. And I'm noticing now it is it is more stable. And pulling it in or whatever. I've got to push pretty hard to get it to move. And that's the tenth that it's moving. So again, just thrilled to death with this stand. Thank you.